<coughs> so this is figma a we know da oh okay now here i have a frame assume that this is my heart i know it's empty <laughs> hey why are you laughing as your heart is completely filled uh yes it is huh what now i know in the future there may be someone for me like this now really don't know who this is just a random picture i got from the internet and if you really know who this is just comment down because she is beautiful now obviously she will go into my heart because first person right okay done but 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 in the future i know looking at my amazing face there may be more people coming into my heart like this again really don't know who these are all are just some random pictures hey i know this one i know her she's mine now again obviously new member has to come into my heart because why not again i have to align them increase the width of my heart because they have to be at the center again i have to add this third member into my heart align them increase the width because they have to be at the center ha huh. it's kind of boring and lengthy because i want to make sure my heart is responsive what i mean by that based on the number of people or elements coming into the frame or into my heart the width and height has to be increased or whenever i increase the width and height of the frame these elements has to stay at the center and follow some constraints like i know that there will be more and more members coming into my heart and i cannot just sit here and arrange one by one like each member into my heart align them and all those things i want it to be responsive and how do i do that using auto layouts ha huh. that's what we'll be learning today because i want to make sure that your heart is responsive ha huh? now let's undo now how do i create an auto layout so select the frame here is my heart now to create an auto layout hit this icon over here this icon over here hit that and there you go what has changed we have got some additional features over here and also the icon of this frame has changed from this uh, hashtag to this icon over here where here here oh now let's add this second member into my heart adding this new elements into the frame or auto load is easy so there you go hmm what has changed you see i'll just undo now at this point my heart uh, or this frame width is about 1214 now the moment i add the second element or second member into my heart like this the width of this frame or this auto layout has changed to 1856 making sure that these two elements are at the center and following this margins now these are all the constraints or i can say the values that you have given that this frame has to follow or the elements has to follow now i'll just increase this now let's talk one by one now over here this my heart or the frame has this padding of 10 i mean the gap there is nothing but this the gap between these two elements has to be 10 i mean whenever we add more elements the gap between each element has to be 10 and this frame should also have this padding or margins of 291 you can see over here right 291 291 and this vertical padding of 148 148 there you go and also you can give this uh, individual padding if you want very good you have given this 10 margins and all those things right so whenever i again add this third member obviously she'll be in my heart just add like that and there you go the width of this heart has increased to 2498 why it is increased because these three elements has to be at the center and have this gap and also this margins but but what da but why is it increasing like whenever i remove an element the width has been reduced why how is it possible because if you have seen the width and height there's a thing called hug contents over here height hug contents what do you mean by hug contents hug content is something but my heart is hugging these two elements closely and also following this gap margins and all those things so whenever i add this third element my heart is again hugging these three elements because these three elements can be placed in my heart stay at the center and also follow this margins if and only if the width is of 2498 minimum width of 2498 now if i change this gap to about 30 i can do that as well i can give this margin even 0 I mean the padding zero and zero. So the moment I add this next element, there you go. The width has increased and also the gap between all this uh, each element is about nine foot. That is what we have given and no margins. I can give them margins as well. No problem. And let's talk about this constraint over here that we have missed. Now this constraint is nothing but uh, where should all the elements has to be placed whenever the width of this uh, frame has increased. what i mean by that right now what i'll do is i'll change it to bottom left and whenever i increase the width of this frame there you go these four elements are to the left and also to the bottom 
now again i can change that to center top left top right bottom right center right center center ha huh, super undo 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 other thing is something but uh, you have seen over here right hug and fixed now what is fixed width first i'll just remove this element don't be sad i'll just uh, add you in seconds right now my heart is of this hug content and hug content now when i change it to fixed width and fixed width okay so i'll just add this uh, new frame or new member into my heart what is happening hey she's gone there's no change in the width of this heart because it is gone with this fixed i'll just increase there you go the member is still in my heart but the width and height of this frame has not increased because we have given that fixed now still it is in fixed width and fixed height now the moment i add this new uh, member or new element no change in the width because it is fixed now when i change it to hug and there you go the width has increased making sure that the gap is 94 there at the center it is hugging all the elements are visible and also following this margins super awesome and i can just uh, move this so easily swap the element so easily next if you have seen whenever i am adding this new element or new member into my heart come on my heart is variable it is not like a uh, fixed it is like open for everyone now whenever i add this new member why all these elements are in horizontal format like whenever i add again new member or new element all are stacked side to side like horizontal way why is that i'll just delete that because we have given this horizontal layout over here now when i select this vertical layout there you go all are stacked vertically now again horizontal that is about this layout vertical layout and horizontal layout like how the elements has to be there like should they be side to side or on top of each other a uh, determinate fellows and also there's a new thing over here called wrap now what is this wrap hmm i select that the moment you select the wrap the icon has been changed i go with center as well the icon has been changed and there's a new thing called vertical gap why wrap is like a mixture of this uh, vertical layout and horizontal layout like vertical plus horizontal layout is called to wrap ha huh, awesome what i mean by that is nothing but when my heart or the frame size the minimum frame size is about 2978 it is possible that all these four elements can be horizontally placed and also follow this uh, gap of 94 and this margins and you know that you can see this margin right 84 and you know that whenever i reduce this uh, width of the frame or my heart it is not possible that all four elements can be horizontally placed and also follow this margins it cannot be done so when i reduce the frame width there you go one has moved down because whenever the width is 2944 only three elements can be in horizontal layout and also follow this 94 84 and 104 margins and gap so that's why this member went down into my heart ah so again right now three members can be in horizontal layout very good and till this point okay till this point it's good okay this is the minimum one these three can be in horizontal format following this 94 gap and this margins you can see 84 starting at this point here now the moment i reduce the gap again there you go only two elements can be in horizontal layout following this gap margins and all those things i can also increase this uh, vertical gap if i want again till this point okay these two members can be in horizontal layout now the moment i reduce the width there you go all went in vertical format so that's about wrap i'll go with horizontal so wrap is nothing but a mixture of this uh, vertical layout and horizontal layout based on the width it will make sure that how many elements has to be in horizontal layout and uh, how many has to be in vertical layout hmm super other thing <sighs> how many others man what's the time oh yo hey wake up other additional feature is something but in the gap section you can see this option called auto hmm what is that whenever i select this auto there is no option over here like left and right there is only one either center top center or bottom center why so because auto is something but it makes sure that the gap between each element is variable it can change based on the width and make sure that all these elements are centrally aligned i mean they are like spread over the frame now whenever i increase the width of the frame there you go the gap has been increased making sure that these four elements are like spread at the center i mean center center if i go with this top center there you go they are like spread at the top now i'll go with this 94 as well stay as it is and also remember whenever you just increase the width of this frame or height of this frame you can see this right 
it will change to fixed width and fixed height so check that as well again i'll go with this hug content and hug content so now we have understood that hug and fixed uh, layouts gaps margins and constraints as well and what else mm, what else left to talk whenever i go with this sub element it, it does not have any much options but the width and height has this option called fill container mm. what is this fill container even the height has this fill container so to talk about this fill container i'll just duplicate my heart now i'll remove all these members from my heart ah painful now i'll just add a rectangle over here so i'll just select the rectangle and change the color to bluish tone like this so now this frame has this uh, rectangle in it and this frame also has a sort of layout of this hug and hug and 84 104 and all those things so this sub element has this uh, fixed width and fixed height so now whenever i increase the width and height of this frame no matter what the rectangle's width and height is fixed of 773 and 386 but 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 i just undo 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 now i'll select the rectangle and choose this fill container now by the name you can understand that whenever the width and height of this frame has increased the rectangle's width and height is also increased making sure that it is completely filled within the parent auto layout and why there is some gap because we have given this margins now if i go with this zero and zero there you go no red color only blue because we have given no margins over here i mean no padding and rectangle is like fill it will completely fill the parent auto layout sure now again let's take another example i'll just duplicate my heart again i'll remove this rectangle now i'll add a ellipse and i'll create a frame for this ellipse and the color of this ellipse will be blue again so uh, this frame the main frame or the main auto layout has this uh, frame for inside it and inside that frame for i have this ellipse one now my task is nothing but uh, i have to make sure whenever the width and height of this my heart is increased the ellipse the width and height of this ellipse should also increase like it has to stretch and elongate so you may be thinking it's simple i'll just first select this my heart i'll first uh, make sure it is hug content i mean it works for the fixed as well but let's go with hug content and i'll select the frame five i'll give it a fill container and fill container so now whenever i increase the width and height nothing is happening why <laughs> it is happening if the width and height of this uh, main frame is increased the frame five okay the width and height of this frame five is increased you can see it right it has increased it is filling but not the ellipse why because there is no link between this ellipse one and this my heart there is no relationship between this uh, main auto layout and this uh, uh, sub sub component or inside inside component uh, a dirty minor fellows i don't know what it is called but there is no link between this ellipse one and this my heart because this frame phi is in the middle so there is only link between this frame phi and this my heart now to rectify that i select this frame phi and now i'll create an auto layout for this frame phi itself select the ellipse one and give it a fill container and fill container there you go now let's run through it this my heart whether the width or height is increased the frame phi which has is fill the width and height of that frame phi is increased and as we have given that frame phi and auto layout itself the ellipse inside one we have given this fill so as the frame phi width is increased or the height is increased the width and height of the ellipse one is also increased like stretched and elongated done task completed ha huh. who am i so i don't need this uh, one because one heart is enough for every girl in the world <laughs> sorry now is that it are there any additional features yes there are let's say i have given this margins negative but i am a good person what i want is something but as this is the first person into my heart i want this to be at the top because i give priority from the first one to the last one now to do that select this my heart and select this icon now there's are some additional features like canvas stacking you can see it right first on top there you go first member is on the top a hey, that demanded fellows and again i can change that to last on top first on top super awesome amazing there's also another feature called over here like strokes included in auto layout and excluded what is that i'll tell you select this frame and i'll give it a stroke of about uh, say 30 
of black no problem now let's zoom in now this frame has this margin of 84 or the padding of 84 from this point okay from the starting or ending point of this frame right you can see this right my heart and this padding is from which point to which point like from this point or the end point of this frame it is not considering this uh, stroke but in the moment when I change this to included now I'll just zoom in and there you go the padding is starting from here I'll just zoom in the padding is starting from over here from the stroke end not from here not from the frame end from the stroke end because we have given that in this auto layout the strokes has to be included so that's the reason this padding is starting from this point I mean the end point of the stroke so that's about included and excluded of the stroke itself so i just go with excluded and i won't use any stroke because my heart is completely open so there you go that's about auto layouts oh oh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you think it's over nah there's an extra feature for you because my heart is nothing but it is variable it does not have any limitations it's like open for everyone the width and height can be increased to infinite but I know that your heart is like limited to this uh, minimum weight and maximum weight, something like that. So don't worry. Hey, for you, whenever you select this uh, frame or your heart, you have this option over here called add minimum weight and add maximum weight. So I just add a minimum weight of let's say 2000 and also I just add a maximum weight of let's say 3000. So whenever i increase this uh, i mean whenever you increase your heart there you go dead end okay only till here i can increase the width and i cannot do that more than this uh, 3000 because we have given this maximum width and same for the minimum width so until this point i can just reduce the width and i cannot reduce more than that because we have given this minimum width of 2000 now i can just uh, remove that with a single click because we are talking about my heart now there you go the same works with this height as well minimum height and maximum height there you go now that's about auto layout we have learned the basics i mean not the basics we have learned everything about auto layout about the hug fixed minimum width and maximum width about this uh, layout gap margins or paddings this uh, alignment and also this fill container and all those things now how do I use this concept I mean this auto layout how do I use that and create responsive designs for my websites or for my UI components or for my product cards that I will be publishing or launching so how do I use this auto layouts and create some amazing responsive designs will we learn today over here in this video <laughs> will we no uh, why will I teach you over here when I can make part 2 <laughs> silly fellow because I know that you cannot just sit over here till this long and if you're still over here Oh wow! So that's about auto layouts and now in part 2 we will see how to create some responsive designs using these auto layouts. Huh. Hope my heart contains more than one person in the future man. I know it's impossible because you know who is planning this.